Before he was Captain America, before he was an Avenger, before he was even the Falcon, he was Sam Wilson, United States Air Force Pararescue. And in today's video, I will be going over everything we know about the X-07 Falcon program within the Marvel Cinematic Universe, and what led to Sam becoming one of the most pivotal characters within the Marvel Cinematic Universe. As with all of our lore videos, I will only be covering what is canon to the Marvel Cinematic Universe. With that said, let's discuss the X-07 Falcon program. The Exo Falcon program began in secret within the United States Air Force in the early 21st century. The military began working on a suit that would provide self-sustaining flight using a miniaturized jetpack in concert with metallic wings that could retract into the pack when not in use. While highly specialized and nearly impossible for the typical Air Force pilot to operate, the Exo Falcon wings would eventually allow the United States Air Force to dispatch their Falcons into battles where conventional aerial combat was ineffective. Throughout the years, the program marched on while improvements were made to the jetpack and wings, and they would eventually become an invaluable asset to the United States military with the 7th generation. Eventually, a young man by the name of Sam Wilson would enlist in the United States Air Force and alongside his wingman Riley, the two would rise quickly through the ranks, serving a total of two tours as a part of the global war on terrorism, proving themselves on each and every mission. Assigned as para-rescue officers within the Air Force's 58th Rescue Squadron, the two would eventually garner enough notoriety to be used as test pilots for the X-07 Falcon program, and the duo would become some of the most highly trained members of the United States Air Force, eventually mastering the X-07 Falcon flight suit. Becoming invaluable to the United States, Sam and Riley were sent on many, many dangerous missions where other branches of the US military could not assist. During their time as pararescue, an Afghan criminal named Khalid Kandil was targeted by the United States government. Hidden within the city of Bakmala, Afghanistan and protected by RPG fire, the Air Force could not send in helicopters to capture the fugitive, so the X-07 Falcons were called in to do what no one else could, get in past the RPG fire, capture the target, and escape. Sam and Riley infiltrated the airspace using their X-07 Falcon mechanical wing harnesses. However, the RPG fire was overwhelming and Riley was struck and killed by one of the RPGs. Riley was sent plummeting to Earth while Wilson could do nothing to help him. Sam would later recall the mission saying that he felt powerless in the situation and couldn't do anything to save his friend. While Khalid Condil's men were able to take down one of the two Falcons, Sam Wilson was able to get through the remaining RPG fire, secure Condil, and escape with his life. Sometime after this mission, Sam Wilson decided to retire from the US military and the X-07 Falcon program was likely put to an end, as we've never seen the Air Force deploy any Falcons since Sam retired, not to mention his flight suit was retired as well and locked away by the US military in Fort Meade. If they were still developing Falcons and the program was still active, his suit likely would have been given to another Falcon within the program. Years after his retirement, Sam would cross paths with Steve Rogers and Natasha Romanoff, the latter of whom had heard of Sam's mission in Afghanistan, which had become somewhat of a legend. With the help of Rogers and Romanoff, Sam would recover his X-07 Falcon flight suit and assist them in taking down Hydra in Washington, D.C. Toward the end of the Project Insight incident, Sam's suit was destroyed by the Winter Soldier, bringing an end to this era of the Falcon program. However, Sam would take the name of Falcon and carry on the legacy he and Riley started all those years ago. With a new Falcon suit designed and built by Tony Stark himself, Sam would join the Avengers as the Falcon and continue to serve not only his country, but the world as one of its protectors. Sam would spend many years as a member of the Avengers until he was eventually forced to work with the US military again in accordance with the Sokovia Accords. During this time, he assisted with the rescue of Captain Besant, and he, alongside fellow military veteran James Buchanan Barnes, were instrumental in taking down the group known as the Flag Smashers. 
During one of their missions in Europe, Sam and Bucky got into an altercation with then Captain America, John Walker. During this fight, Walker ripped apart Sam's newest Falcon suit, and after the dust had settled, Sam left the wings in the care of First Lieutenant Joaquin Torres. While Sam has left the moniker of Falcon behind, Joaquin Torres may end up taking the mantle and continuing Sam and Riley's legacy. And while the Exo Falcon program was retired alongside Sam, it is cool to see it being brought back with First Lieutenant Joaquin Torres, and I expect him to be a pretty prominent part of the Marvel Cinematic Universe moving forward, at least as far as the whole military is concerned, and maybe we'll even see him in the Armor Wars television show. With that being said, that's all we know about the X07 Falcon flight suits. If you guys learned something, please be sure to like and subscribe. It does really, really help us out, and it lets us know that you guys want more videos like this. And that's all I've got for you guys today. Remember the motto, it's the X07 Falcon program over everything, and I'll see you guys next time.